we must break these vile chains. My power is greater in this between place. seem surprised, mortal. Did you not suspect my true identity? I did not pretend, mortal. I am the groundskeeper. I merely hid the fact that I am also a Daedric Prince. My plans have been long in the making. Had I revealed myself too soon, I could have jeopardized everything. Do not presume to question my motives. Suffice it to say, I required mortal assistance to destroy the Vortex and halt the plane melt. You mortals only see life as precious because it ends. Take it from a god. You'll never know how fortunate you are. Your allies have arrived. Speak to them before we continue. behind us was dreadful, but this place, it boggles the mind. Still, we've made it this far. Victory is within our grasp, especially now that the Radiant Lady stands with us. I've seen the rise and fall of my people, yet I stand before you, the last of my kind. I am the last Aeliad, but I am proud to call you my friend. Cruel tyrants and conquerors, who believed ourselves better than the other races of Nern. When the lesser races decided we were the enemy and united against us, our downfall was all but guaranteed. We were too stubborn to see where we were wrong. That is a reason I am the last king of the Aeliads. I stood alongside the younger races, aided them. I believed in what they fought for. I was there when the power of High Rock switched from the Alessians to the Dareni. Meridian and Molagbal have always hated each other with a fiery passion, but that hatred has cost so many of our lives. I have a notion to show them both why Vanis Galarian's power should be feared. Chances? I don't believe in luck or fortune. We'll win this day with blood and magic or will die trying. I won't lie to you, I doubt we can win this fight, but that doesn't mean we won't try. The same thing that happens to everybody. The world ends and everyone dies, and that's the best scenario. More likely, they'll all become soul-shriven slaves in Cold Harbor. No, we can't, but we're not the chosen ones. We're not heroes of destiny fated to succeed. We're simply soldiers, brothers and sisters fighting for what they care about. We're united and that makes us strong. That's what's important here. It's good to know your faith hasn't wavered. These men and women follow you. They face death itself to fight at your side. They will stand with you until the end. Don't disappoint them. I always wanted to see a planar vortex up close and personal. Isn't that sky spectacular? Wait, what are we doing here again? Of course! Oh, our epic quest it must have slipped my mind. I've been on so many of these adventures, you know. After a while, they tend to blend together, kind of like these two realms are doing. Oh, sorry, old chap. That's a, a bad thing, right? Yes, yes, I knew that. Terrible getting your dismal world into the wondrous vistas of Cold Harbor. Like dipping bread in honey. Frightfully repulsive. Still, I believe this might just be my best quest yet. Well, that'd just be disgusting, wouldn't it? You know where honey comes from? It's regurgitated flower nectar. 
Oh, very well. I accept your challenge. Now, let's go and finish this so that I can taste your bitter poison. Concerned about what? We're heroes, my boon companion, and heroes always win. Let that be a lesson to you. Now, let's go and stop the plane mail. Most people dream of lusty Argonians with delectable dishes, but not old Darien. Oh no, I dream about planar vortexes and blinding lights of Meridia. How is that possible? And why do I keep asking questions that no one can answer? Why waste words when I can simply show you? Look around. I've been dreaming about this place since I was a young boy. Seeing it live and in person, that's a bit unnerving. Why couldn't this be that other dream I regularly have? With a blinding light, brighter than any I've ever seen. Then I'm in a room where everything's illuminated, as if the world itself is made of light. I'm alone. And then I wake up. It's always the same. And I'll soon wake up in a really bright room, too hungover to remember what I did, I hope. But that's not likely, is it? I'm alive, which is more than I can say for a lot of the soldiers out there. I keep thinking that if I would have stayed back, I could have changed things. I know how war works, though. Someone, somewhere, is always going to die. I've made it this far. I don't have any intention of giving up just yet. I need to see how this dream really ends. I imagined that this was going to be a grand adventure, but I never pictured the horror of all this. So many of our friends and companions have died, and this damn vortex still threatens our world. I think it's time we shut it down. Permanently. Damn right I'm determined. And more than a little irritated at all this. Come on, hero. Let's show Molag Ball how it's done. Then I can get back to the ordinary craziness I usually get to deal with. I think we can. I hope we can. All I know is we've come too far to give up now. I... I just worry that we still have a lot of fight left to go. I think more of us are going to die before this is all over. Did I hear that right? We're going to blow the Vortex apart. Great. But how do we get out of here once the light explodes? Please tell me you have an idea. That's not an idea. We're just going to plant a magical explosive and hope for the best. I thought my brother Raynor's ideas were bad. I'm not sure I can take much more of this. People are dying. I've lost friends. People I looked up to. I can't lose rain or two. There has to be another way. Yes, yes I do. People died so we could get this far. I owe them to see this through. My brother and I will stand with you. We'll make sure no one follows us through that gate. I, I have to help, no matter what. You better not let us down, you hear me? Do what you need to do and we'll do the same. Just like running through a dungeon back home in Dishan, but with more Daedra. I thought for sure we were done with all this. I followed the others through the portal, and now look what I've gotten involved with. This looks like the end of the world. As I said, I thought we were finished. I figured that Varnus opened a portal to send us back home. Imagine my consternation and surprise when I realized where we actually were. I think not. I may not be a mighty warrior or a powerful mage, but I am a genius and a master tinkerer. I know I can help, and my sister Kirith as well. Perhaps we can stay right here and guard our flank. Yes, I think that's what we'll do. If we had known all this was happening, maybe my people could have stopped it. Valenwood is part of Nern after all. That's probably just wishful thinking. I've spent my life hiding in a dark forest. I've never seen the sky over Valenwood, or felt real rainwater on my skin. Molag Bal lied to us, and I'll never forgive him for that. I'm proud to be a part of all this. Find a new home? See the world that I've only heard stories about? You don't have to worry about me. I'll be fine. This is the moment I've waited for my whole life. Now let's fight for it. 
It's better to die fighting for what you believe in than to die fat and content. I'd read that in a book. It wasn't a good book, but the phrase stuck with me. And I believe it too. You showed me that there was more to life than that dark forest. You gave me hope. For that, I'll fight at your side till this ends, one way or another. Speak to your friends, for these moments may be their last. But do not tarry too long. Time is fleeting, and each moment is a thief that steals far more than it brings. The Lord of Brutality uses dark anchors to bind this vortex. We must destroy all three before the power of Meridia's light is unleashed. Otherwise, the resulting backlash could destroy Nern as surely as the Plainmeld would. Meridia's light must be unleashed at the focal point of the vortex. We will need to locate that focal point. Again, I remind you that this will be your last opportunity to speak to your allies before the final battle begins. When you are ready, let me know. So it begins. Destroy the remaining anchors. I shall begin searching for the focal point of the vortex. The chains bind both planes. We cannot use the light until those chains are destroyed. Go quickly. I should be able to cobble something together to slow a giant monster down. What about that exploding squirrel? Or do you think that'd be too much? We have to hurry. Molog Ball knows we're here. I grow weary of your games, Mavidia. Go, warriors of light. These dark chains must be broken. You cannot stop me, Mavidia. This realm will be mine. Running out of time. I'll make sure these anchors are destroyed. You have to keep moving. Place the light and disrupt this vortex. I'm sticking with her, my friend. Gabrielle and me, we've been through a lot. I'm not going to leave her alone. Derry. No one else dies today. That's an order. Come on, let's go set the light in place.
The light approaches. It brightens the shadows. It attempts to break the darkness. But the darkness is strong. Our father, our god, he is the darkness. He shall repel the father's approaches. He will consume the light. He will tear it apart. He will destroy it. He will destroy you. Our father has spoken. He wishes us to challenge you. And What's going on? You believe the light no. can destroy my plane, Hell? The prince thinks I would allow this. She is more foolish than I thought. into a war you could never win. My council shall destroy you. I shall enjoy watching a hero die. Most curious. This light powers you somehow. Meridia, where are you hiding? this game. Now you shall die. Quickly, get behind my shield. Did you think it would be that easy? My minions will tear you apart. Gabrielle, focus all your energy into this. We can't let up. I'm doing my The planar vortex is destroyed. Molog Ball's plane meld is at an end. You are mortal. You began to die the moment you were born. You are not fully dead. Not yet. Your song has only just begun, and many verses still lay before you. The vortex has been destroyed. I designed this place to be familiar and calming to you. It is a small pocket of oblivion, under my protection. No harm will come to you here. Those present when you shattered the light were under my protection. They gather in the room beneath us, saying their farewells. Those who were not a part of the final battle? I cannot say. The Aeliad King suffered grievous wounds. He is near death. 
but he has not passed yet. Do you not see how singular you are? How remarkable? You entered the realm of a Daedric prince, gathered an army strong enough to fight his legions, and saved your mortal world. You are a valuable asset, mortal. You will be of great use to us. For the nonce, we require nothing. But the Dark Princes have taken notice of you, and they have plans, and plans within plans. Prepare yourself, and be ready when Oblivion calls. I fear the King's wounds are too extensive for us to heal. He... he doesn't have much time left. Please, you have to hold on. We... we can't lose any more of our companions. There's been too many deaths already. How can you ask me that after what we've been through? Darian, the King, so many injuries, so many deaths. I don't know, he wasn't here when we arrived. I... I didn't see him. When the light erupted, Vonis, Dinar, and I appeared here. No one else. Just us. I... I think Darian's gone. My time has finally come, it seems. I have... I have lived far longer than any of my people. Finally, I will... I will be able to join them. Once more. Meridia's shield protected the others. Darian and I were outside the shield, dealing with Morlock Baal's damn portals. I watched as light filled your body. You were a beacon. And the last thing I will ever see. Darkness fills my eyes. As the light erupted around me, someone pushed me closer to Meridia's shield. It was too late to save me, but it did bring me here. My fate doesn't matter. I'm gladdened by the thought that Nern is safe. Then I shall... I shall rest well, knowing my final day the final day of the alien people was spent saving Nern from the clutches of Molag Baal. And I... I... I want you to have this. A gift from my people to the hero of Nern. To honor you and those who fell beside me in this great battle. Thank... Thank you. May the spirits guide me on my way. How many did we lose today? I... I can't even count. I fear going back home, seeing who survived and who didn't. It's all just so... Overwhelming. We will honor the Aeliad King for his sacrifice this day. We will honor everyone's sacrifice this day. I'm still trying to work that out myself. When you touched the light, you erupted in holy flame. We thought we had lost you, truth be told. I've never seen destruction like that before. Even Molag Ball reeled in pain from its touch. I don't know. Anyone not in the Vortex should have been protected from the blast. But I have no way to know if they survived the actual assault. Anyone inside besides us? I can only imagine the light took them quickly. As am I, my friend. As am I. Let's leave this place once and for all. May the companions we lost along the way find their own way home. <laughs> 